wicked. Okay. So this is the start of whatever this is going to be. London Marathon 2023. I think a couple of weeks ago had the um, had the good for age entry confirmed. Um, so yeah, this is something I've wanted to do for a little while. I should have done it for Manchester, which I ran this year, 2022. Had such an interesting block where I learned so much, but I didn't document it. So Sophie's kindly given me this camera. I don't think it's able to use very well, so I might even have to just bin this footage. But my plan, sort of loosely, just try and just document what happens really. Um, a bit about running, a bit about the life, and you know, I'm going for a big target in London. Um, I ran two hours 51 in Manchester, which was amazing. And I had so much help from friends, family, partner, everything. And I feel like I, um, I should have just done what I did now, just recorded it. And how I dealt with the niggles, the injuries, life, work, removed house, everything. So, I'm going to give it my best go. Um, I want to try and get that, that PB in London. It's sort of been on my bucket list for so, so long. So yeah, just going to take the opportunity to, I suppose, just record what goes on, what sort of training I do. So I go to the gym, because I felt that was something that was lacking last time. Um, I'm really, really lucky. So, one of my best mates, Ben, he's got a place as well. Um, he's just about to move in around the corner. Um, seriously good runner, so just going to piggyback on what he does. And I think he, he knows I'm going to do this as well, so he might be in some of the, some of the footage. Currently, I've been sort of base building. And this is really, really good. This is what I did for Manchester. I spent sort of September, October, November. So now it's the 10th, no, sorry, it's the 11th. It's Remembrance Day today. Um, just sort of running about 40 miles a week. Nothing flash. A lot of time on feet. I guess in about four weeks time, three weeks time. So yeah, about 20, 20 weeks out from London. So I'll have a bit more of a plan, a bit more of an idea. Um, I won't be following a plan specifically like online or coaching. I ran Manchester with my own ideas. And yeah, I was pretty pleased with that. This will, this footage, if, it, if, it, if it's usable, will be episode one. And then yeah, we'll just, just start recording and just documenting it a bit. I've gone for a good, strong first impression. I've got my new Say Sky top on. Obviously on sale. Never pay full price. And so yeah, I might discuss a bit of kit um, that I wear and shoes that I do, what works for me, what doesn't. And yeah, I'm hoping tomorrow, Saturday. So I take take maybe the camera with me on the long run with Ben. We do a little bit of park run as well. Probably won't film that though. Because I don't know, kids and that there, isn't there? I'm just gonna head and pick up um, a new vest, which is Safe Sky. Got off Vinted, it's five pound. So, see that's, that's like, I don't know if it's gonna be a bit too small, but five quid. Say, oh, that's all right. Say that. Oh. 
I'm on. What is it? Rigo. SAS, quite like it. I like the gels, they sit well. Bit of recovery powder. It's just gone 7 a.m. I'm being quiet. Because so still in bed. I've got a quick coffee. I'm not good. I've got to meet Ben. Shortly. I'm going to go for that. Right, ready for the long run with Ben. Just driven down to where we meet. Look at all this shit in the back of the car. <sighs> we have to do a tip run after this. But the pros aren't doing this. Are you filming that? I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah, just go along the sea, mate. Uh, Sunday long run. Come on. 16 miles. Boss of it. Two. London 2023, good for age with Gerrish. Yeah. Like, Get in! Like and subscribe. So I'm going to wrap it up for the for the first episode of what the series here of London 2023. It's been, it's been really good. Um, I quite enjoyed doing the whole vlogging thing. Um, phone's going a bit mental. I've just put on the straw. <laughs> um, so yeah, in in summary, a nice easy six miles on Monday. Um, Tuesday did my first session within this sort of base block. Couple miles warm up, couple miles of just hill efforts, and then up and down, up and down. Nothing, nothing too strenuous. Like nothing around pace, just around how how it felt. Couldn't even tell you how, what the pace was like. Probably like five thirty, five twenty each rep, something like that. And then a couple miles cool down. Um, that was on the same day. I went gym as well, and that felt good to do a session and gym on the same day. It didn't feel too much. I normally do about 45 minutes in the gym. It is making me feel good. I feel like it's especially helping my calves, um, which is really then supporting my Achilles, which is important to me. Took Wednesday off after, obviously, gym and um, session. Um, Thursday, back to just easy miles, um, which was really good. Friday, back in the gym in the afternoon. Um, actually, I'm going to talk about Thursday. Thursday was easy miles. It was eight miles easy. I didn't want to go out because um, I was up early for work. I was in the office that day. And normally when I'm in the office, I leave because I get in early. I leave a bit earlier because just the commute's crap with traffic. Um, but it was, got caught in a meeting for an extra hour. So I got caught in traffic, car broken down the ring road. Took ages to get back, dark cold, drizzly, and it would have been really easy to go, nah, I've just been it off tonight. But I think the whole, you've got a ticket to London was enough of a motivation to just get out the door. So I'm really pleased. Actually, it's probably the easiest run of the week, but probably the best run of the week, because it was just mindset of get out, get out, keep going, keep being consistent. Um, back in the gym on Friday for another 40 minutes, um, you know, squats, single leg work that's where my that's what I'm focusing on at the moment the single leg stuff um and then yeah long run today with Ben which was really really good just got out of the bath and just going to recover now um and it's quite nice doing the long run on a Saturday morning because I won't run again until Monday evening after work so you're looking at like 50 60 hours recovery time 
Um, so I need to be sensible on that. Going out tonight with a couple of friends for a Mexican, which would be really good. Um, won't be drinking, um, but just have some good food, nice recovery, build myself back up, plenty of fluids. Tomorrow I'll definitely have relax, although I know Soph wants me to go to the bloody tip. Um, I'll have to do that. Um, and I think I've got to put some picture frames up today as well. But yeah, it's been, it's been, been good. Finished on 43 miles of the week. Um, probably a couple more than I wanted, but solid long run, solid session. Got out when I didn't want to get out and two gym sessions. So yeah, it's been good. And now I'm just going to chill, watch the football and hopefully have some fantasy football points roll in as well. Um, I've done the video here because in the background you can see my frame. And that's something that Soph bought me, which is, um, which is for Ma it's got the Manchester medal in the time, the photo, and everything. And this is in my office, and yeah, it's my motivator. Just look up at the picture and just you know, just use it as motivation plus the London ticket. So yeah, until I put out episode two, just keep being, just get out the door.